the Sun Dome in Tampa, Florida. The backdrop for today's action between the Tulsa Golden Hurricane and the South Florida Bulls. Of it, you see South Florida getting out on the 8-2 run, and they're getting it done with the defensive end. On the other end, Curtis from the corner knocking down the three ball. And you have to love the South Florida, you know, aggressiveness early on the offensive end if you're Coach Antigua and happy about the, the shots that you're got. Upset off the first place Tulsa Golden Hurricane. 15-foot jumper does not go. Rebound put back in the foul as Swanigan will go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Have come out and given the ball away too many times, and we see another turnover, but this time in the favor of Tulsa, it turns into two points. Curtis with the slam dunk. He now has nine. Five left on the shot clock. Curtis draws Clayton on the jump. Offensive board underneath. Nice putback on the second chance by Rashad Smith. Zone, but then switching it to a man-to-man -man in the middle of the possession. Harrison driving through the nice crossover dribble. Put back in the slam. And what a way to finish off the first half on the Swanigan slam dunk for Tulsa as they have the five-point lead. Second half action here. And that five-point advantage right on the baseline. Hands it off. Rashad Smith off the miss right there for the putback was right. Race them, but they still have really good backcourts. They have two great backcourts all on the same team. When you think about the Harrison twins as well, big time reputation for being a scorer. The only person in the history of the program of the Golden Hurricane to lead the team in scoring and rebounding as a freshman and a sophomore. In the corner, Woodard spotting up for three and knocking it down. And now Woodard's third three-pointer here in the second half. It's been the Woodard show here in the second half. Coach Antigua talking about trying to contain those two in transition. Nice spin move driving in the lane and getting the bucket to drop was Harrison. Think about it, those two guys together are the perfect complements for each other. Another block leads to a two-on-one. Look out below the one-handed slam by James Woodard, and the junior guard is starting to heat up. Woodard, of course, as you see, a great pass ahead. The look away by Harrison knowing where his teammate would be and finding him as Woodard gets out. Tulsa trying to improve to 5-0 in conference play. Coming in, riding that six-game win streak. Woodard loaded up and firing from long distance. He's gotten back into basketball games. We'll see if they're able to do it here at home over the last six minutes. Driving baseline and coming off glass, Rashad Smith with an answer on the other end for the Golden Hurricane. To this point, Tulsa has really covered up the defensive glass. Team leader in rebounds now has seven. Beautiful spin move, kisses it off glass for DeAndre Wright, the junior forward. And you look at this Tulsa team, it's even though both these guys are really, really good, it's not just those two. It's not as though they have to have those two to be successful every night in order to win. Because when you think about DeAndre Wright, Rashad Smith, Rashad Ray, they've got a junior class that we haven't even mentioned, Curtis. So Tulsa with the victory is going to improve to 12-5 on the season, 5-0 in conference play.